Oh man, you guys are going for it. They're gonna stun him. This is amazing. <laughs> Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Together with War Talks. It is interesting. This lantern is no longer happening. Do we have another lantern? Um. Was I holding the... Okay. I guess it just ran out while I was holding it. Very interesting. Well, let's hop down here and grab some light bulbs. While it's the top of the day. So today I would like to fight Dragonfly. And to do that, we're going to need some armor, some souls, some sanity restoration, and some, a weapon, and some ice staves. Now, for the sake of this, for the sake of this fight, I'm going to appropriate a strategy used by one of the greatest DST gamers currently active. His name is Don Gianni. Don Gianni is one of the greatest. Fight me. Seriously, fight me. Anyways, we're going to use his strategy for fighting the dragonfly without the use of stone walls. That is the hope anyway. Uh, for now, I'm just going to gonna stack on up with the light bulbs. And then we're going to head over to the deciduous biome to grab that pan flute from the glomer statue. And probably kill some pigs. So that we can refresh our pigskin situation and make a fresh hand bat. So that's what I'm going to do for the time being. Oof. For the time being. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Alright, looks like we got a moosey over here. And that's kind of central. Cool. That'll be for later. That'll be for later. I do want to get Dragonfly first. And then if we have time... Well, I mean, we, we better have time because we need Moose Goose for the down feathers for the weather panes. And possibly a luxury fan or two. But that is for, that is for, not now but later. We are heading to the pig king to fight some pigs. And I also want to grab some cactus while we're in the desert. We're not going to need a huge amount of sanity, but we will lose sanity while firing off the ice staves, so... I want to make sure we are able to save ourselves from insanity if we need to because nothing is more fun than fighting a shadow creature while a dragonfly is sitting on your face. And we are also chopping trees along the way so that we can make log suits. I would like to have three log suits and three football helmets for this fight just to be safe. Wartox is pretty nice for fighting dragonfly because you're actually able to kite that first hit. Which is something that you really cannot do with a lot of other characters. Um, so I don't anticipate taking a ton of damage, but a lot of it will depend on how, how well we're able to manage the, the little guys, the larva. Oh dang, I forgot we had all this gold over here. Well, I guess as good a time as ever to pick it up. Yeah, uh, we also left some charcoal over here, which I forgot about when burning those trees last episode. Oh well. We also have some steel wool if we wanted to tame a beefalo. We would not have to kill an Ewokus for that. That's convenient. All right. Uh, I'm gonna forego that stuff for now. Let's go grab the. Let's go grab the flute. And then it should be close to daytime. We'll come back and fight these pigs. All right. There's the pan flute. And until it is daytime, I'm going to chop down some trees. Ooh, maybe pick some blue mushrooms. Although. Wait, how much sanity do it, does a cooked blue cap restore normally? It, I want to say not much, so is it even worth is it even worth it with war talks? Meh. Let's just eat these sweet juicy berries and then oh, it's almost time. It's almost time for a fightin'. It's almost time for a fightin' war talks. And we almost have enough wood, so I'm gonna chop a little more. Well, I was hoping to spawn a poison birch nut tree to, to assist in battle with these dudes, but looks like we'll be doing it the old-fashioned way. Dance with me, piggy! Ooh, cool. I'll take the pig skins too, but I really need... I really need some... I really need some meat, actually. Did I just aggro one of you? Cool. It's nice that you can... Uh, it's nice that you can control... At least lure a pig away. That's actually a difficult thing to do as a regular player if you're just trying to If you're just trying to fight one pig at a time You have to sort of push him away like keep push shoving him until he like 
keeps walking away from you. Oh, until uh, he's far enough away from other piggies. But this way, you can just lure one guy at a time and take him down. I love it. I love it. All right, there's our, there's our meat. Done. Now uh, let's head to the well. How does the arena look for Dragonfly? We got some hound mounds we gotta take care of. So what I'm gonna do, I'll plant these guys, and then I think we gotta take care of the hound mounds before we can do anything else. Yeah, I think we should take care of these guys right now. And I just gotta watch my souls while doing this, because I do not want to overload. All right, you guys, yeah, you guys were hiding in there. Ugh. Oh, I know this game, I know this game. I know this game. Come here, buddy. Oh. Okay. I will take your soul. Let's see. Was that? Oh, that's a hound attack. Interesting. Can I bring him over to Dragonfly? Or I suppose I could just handle him. Maybe we'll just handle them. Yeah, I think that's the easiest thing. Well, maybe not. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's handle them. Let's handle them right over Mel. Yeah, we'll, we'll back off from the Hound Mounds for a second. Can I plop down a campfire at least? Just in case this takes a little longer than it's supposed to. All right. Thank God for the hand bat. Who else we got? Ugh. Not two. Not two. Uh oh. All right, we gotta get you. Good. Good. Yeah, always go for the uh, the ice hound first. Because they will freeze the other hounds, obviously. All right, looking good. Now I think, all right, let's, let's just go drop some of this stuff off and then we'll come back and take care of the cactus and the rest of these mounts. I changed my mind. I wanna take care of these mounts first because I wanna leave some stuff here on the ground. Did we already take care of these guys? Yes, we did, so let's just take this mound out. Cool, and now we can leave some things here. We can leave our helmets, we can craft our log suits, and we're gonna want, I said four, so... Let's do three, I, yeah, I don't think, I don't anticipate needing all that much. Frog rain. I could bring them over to, interesting, interesting. Oh, can I just drop some stuff, guys? Please, please. And now I gotta stay over here because if I run away from the frogs, more will just spawn. I suppose I could use frog rain against dragonfly. That might be kind of cool. Oh god, please don't set the pan flute on fire. I don't know. I don't even know if it can. Probably not. Oh, I hear deep fly. They're going for him. They're going for him. Are they going to stun him? That would be pretty incredible. Man, this would actually be a good time to uh, to fight him. Unfortunately, we do not really have the means to take care of the... If it was just Dragonfly, we could do it. But yeah, it looks like they're going to stun him. Works for me. <laughs> oh man, you guys are going for it. They're going to stun him. This is amazing. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, the sound though. That sound is just dreadful. They can't even... <laughs> oh. They won't let him get away. Oh, they let him get away. Y'all let him get away. I'm not even... Oh, you're going after me, really? Really? Really, you're going after... We're not doing this fight right now, guys. We're not. I refuse to... I refuse to do this right now. I refuse. 
Are you guys gonna like go for him some more? Or did you just forget that that he was a thing? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ditch this ditch. Oh, are they they back? No, they're going after me. No, thank you. No, thank you. Goodbye. Not now. I'm not ready for you. I'm not ready for you. Uh. Ooh, you know what? I am regretting not putting down, uh, not saving my Presta Hatitator because I was hoping to not have put the Shadow Manipulator down here because it's a temporary base, but looks like we're gonna have to because, yeah, we need to make, we need to prototype an Ice Staff. So we'll put it here for now. Oh well. Let's see. So we'll make, we'll prototype one and then we'll, we'll save the rest so that they don't take up a ton of space. Wow, a Pith Staff, really? Interesting. I like the spiral staff. I think it looks a little better. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I have everything I need. We're going to make a fresh hand bat. Yes. We got our star caller staff. Yes. I am not going to use the mag for this fight because yeah, I don't need to. Let's uh, let's top off our sanity at least. What are we got? 150? That's good for now. Eh, I might grab a couple extra pieces of cactus flesh. But other than that, I think we're good to go. I'm just gonna uh, refill this lantern, maybe make a new one, and then we will head back over to the D-Fly Arena. All right, I am just casting the spell, the spell of life. Whew. All right, we gotta, we gotta rearrange some things. We need to make our, oh, we gotta cook up our, cook up our stuff, our, I picked a little bit of extra cactus just to be completely safe. Right, and now we gotta make our now we gotta make our our ice staves. So we should have four total. Oh, we got yeah, we gotta make the spears. That makes sense. Question is, where are we gonna leave all this other cat? Well, this we can leave on the ground. Hopefully, we will not need to inhabit it for life. And the other stuff. Yeah, make the spears make the staves oh we gotta make one more right did I make I made one too many spears right cuz I had already made one oopsies okay all right uh, what can we leave behind we won't need that this can go on our bodies. Just rearranging a few things last minute. All right, everything is looking good, I believe. Now we just need to make our hand bat and be on our merry way with this bastard, bastard dragonfly. All right, we just can't lead him too far back here because we don't want him. We don't want him knocking over any of our stuff. All right, bro. Now the cool thing about D fly. Hello is you can sometimes avoid the first hit, just like that. Uh, question is, can you avoid the second hit as easily? Yeah, getting off to a good start. We'll see how things progress as he starts spawning more lava. I'm also trying to keep him close to here so that I can benefit from the sanity restoration. Oh god, that's some carnage. Oops, I lost count. Ah. All right, cool. Three, four, five, six. Ah. When he goes to spawn lava, that'll be my opportunity to check the uh, my sanity and restore it with cactus if needed. I gotta say, talking while doing this and keeping account of my swings is really friggin' challenging. You should try it sometime. It's really friggin' hard. Six. Ugh. All right, Jazzy's gonna concentrate for a little bit just to see. Oh, all right. Let's restore. Let's get our ice staff ready. Let's bring them over here, away from the fire, and we freeze them as best we can. Another cool thing about this is we benefit from the uh, we benefit from the souls that drop from the lava. This is your fifth one? Yeah. So, next one we're gonna blow the pan flute. 
On time? Whew. I was cutting it a little close. A little close. Ah! Bro. Come on. Be dead. Be dead. You gotta be dead before D Fly wakes up. That's the thing. That was a little sloppy. Yeah, buddy. Juked. Not so much. <laughs> ah! Just the little bit of lag makes a difference. Two, three, four, five, six. Oops. We should get back on the road. Blech. Having caves in the world adds just that little bit of delay to your movements that just is hard to compensate for. <sighs> like, if I was playing a game without caves, I could probably get like seven hits in before kiting. This is just gonna be five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, just PSA, armor, pr double armor does not stack. Armor protection does not stack, but durability does. Which is why I'm wearing two to save on resources with football helmets. I can't believe I dodged that one. Five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we're gonna wanna drop a couple souls after this round. Maybe two? Yeah. And eat a couple of... A couple of cactus. Three, four, five, six. Well, at least with Dragonfly, I'm being relatively clean. I just want a clean, good fight, guys. Just a good, clean fight. Whew. Dragonfly is a very interesting boss to fight. Very interesting. Okay. And we'll do two. I'm also keeping an eye on the durability of the ice staff. Oh, get out of the way, bro. Good. So this is number three. Get out of here. Oh, see, that's why you got to keep an eye on the ice staff. Yeah, three. Is this, this is it? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe you were going to spawn more? I don't even know. Well, it's over now. Let's grab, let's grab these boys. Oops. We good? I think we're good. Let's just keep on. Oh, come on. Oh, you weren't done spawning? Bummer. Bummer. Now you're done spawning. Well, come here. Come here. Well, that was one wasted pan flute use. No biggie. Oops. That's a little bit more. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, this is sloppy. Whew. All right. I think we're back in the woods for now. Just cost us a little bit of wasted pan flute. Not the end of the world. Important thing is to keep the health and sanity up. So he's in phase two right now. So we want to watch to see how many he spawns the next one. Might be his final phase. Wouldn't that be lovely? That would be so lovely. Three, four, five, six. Six. It's probably gonna start raining again soon. And that's when our ice staves are going to go down. When he spawns nine lava at a time. That's going to be so fun. Right? I suppose I could put on an umbrella, but... Let's, as long as it's not raining super heavy, we'll just keep it doubled up for now. Makes a big difference in the durability. <laughs> Can't believe that. Come on, bro. Haven't got all day. I really don't. Alright. Oh, not the same one. Bummer. Gonna have to juke you. Oh, now you're on top of the Dwarf Star? Gross. Ugh. 
Got to get him away from the lava pool. Now we'll switch. Oops! Ugh. This might be a double. Unless I can freeze one of them. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Come on! Nope. Got to do it again. Oh, I probably could have gotten away with it, but that's eh, better to play it safe. Now, when I kill him, he's gonna drop a lot of he's gonna drop a lot of souls. So I don't want to overload if I don't have to. All right, three, four, five, six. I think we got this. I think that was his last uh, lava spawn. I hope so. He might have one more. We'll see. We'll see. That was annoying, though. Used a few too many uses of the pan flute. More than I would have hoped for. But we are alive. That's all that matters. Come on, buddy. Drop. Drop. Drop, damn you. Have we even, like, broken any armor yet? Not too bad. And y'all think I just play single player? Y'all think I don't know how to play DST? Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, be dead, my dude. Please die. Please die, my dude. I want your stuff. Bam, buddy, and overload. Nothing much could have been done about that. Bam, buddy, no walls, no walls. We don't need any of that junk. Awesome, let's pick up the pieces in the next episode. Hope you are enjoying the series, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.